welcome to West Virginia. My name is Cheryl and this is my channel Tranquil Stitches. Today is Tuesday, August 21st, 2018 and this is my false tube episode number 20. Chester says hey. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you dropping by and hitting that button. That means a lot to me and I appreciate you spending your time with me. And if you're returning, welcome back. So glad to have you. It was an eventful week for me last week. Lots of stuff going on. Tuesday, I did drive to North Carolina to visit my kids. I saw my daughter and my son, and my son brought his new girlfriend over for dinner, and I got to meet her for the first time. So, she's a sweetheart. So, I hope this is the one. I really do. He's 30 years old. And I really want grandbabies from somebody at some point. So, my oldest is 32, my middle son's 30, and my daughter's 20. My daughter, um, she needs to wait. She's in college and no hurry for her. But the other two, you know, at some point. But if I don't, that's okay too. But it'd be nice. <laughs> and so we had a very good dinner. And then my daughter and I went shopping. We went to Hobby Lobby and we went to Michael's. I hadn't been to Michael's in a while. So that was a lot of fun. We went to Olive Garden to have lunch together and just spent a lot of quality time together and talked makeup and she gave me some makeup brushes and you know taught me about primer. <laughs> you know, where I'm from, primer goes on a car before you put the bondo on. You know, it's not something you put on your face. Things they have changed. But we had a good time just being girls and hanging out and being BFFs. It was a lot of fun. So, I love my daughter. I love my son. I love them all. Had a good time. And then I, I came back Thursday, and then on Sunday, I, I had not been feeling good for the past couple of weeks. Lots of pain in my chest, pressure in my chest. I know, I know, I know. I've been fussed at, I know. I, I don't go to the doctor. You know, it has to be, it has to be serious before I'll go to the doctor. I'm just, I've just always been that way. Sunday got serious. So I had my first ride in an ambulance and they did lots of tests. It's not heart related. Thank goodness it's not heart related. So they gave me some medicine, sent me home and I feel like a new person. Should have done it two weeks ago. I don't know, but I feel like a new person. I'm, I'm, I feel normal again. So that was, that was an ordeal. I'm just glad they didn't keep me because you know, I got stuff to do. But anyway, it's cooling down here. We've had a lot of rain the past few days, and uh, it's cooling down, so I think fall's on its way. I'm excited to get my fall decorations out. I might do that this week. Lots of fun. The holiday grand plan starts 26th next Monday, so I'm going to incorporate that, incorporate that a little bit in my, in my channel because um, if you all would like to participate, I thought maybe we could do it together. It would be a lot of fun. So... I do plan to incorporate that briefly in in my um, videos, so we can uh, we can talk about that together. Stitch alongs, um, the new one, Halloween March. Teresa Kogut's Halloween March starts September 12th, and this is the chart. It's a cutie, very vintage. And Rochelle at the Cottage Garden is sponsoring the stitch along. She has a Facebook group. Halloween March Stitch Along. I'll link everything below. And she got the charts in yesterday for the pre-orders. So she got all of her charts in and she's shipping them today. So if you did order from her, she, she, she is shipping those today. So you should get them in a day or two. And that's, that's extremely excited. exciting. Now the chart is 200 wide by 104 high. So it's not really that big of a chart. I think it's 12 and a half by six and a half on 32 count. So that's that's really not bad at all. And what I was thinking about doing, I'm going to stitch everything except for the black, and I'm going to see how that looks. I might not fill that black in. But if I decide to, then I can do it. You know, you won't have to think. I can just I can just sit there and s stitch the black, and you know, not have to think about what I'm doing. So it won't be hard to do. 
but I think I'm going to stitch everything else except for the black and see how that looks. So that that's exciting. We'll see. Um, also, she has um, a special gift that she's sending out every everyone who purchases the kit from her. So if you purchase a kit, then uh, she will send you a special gift as well. So. I know we've got several on my channel who are participating, and I'm so excited that you all are joining me and Rochelle in this stitch along. Um, Kathy, you don't do stitch alongs. I hear you. I'm so glad you're you're joining us. Southernmost Stitcher, Melissa, Karen, and Joe Marie. You've all said that you were joining us. I probably missed a couple of you, but that that's that's great. I'm I'm excited. Now what I'm going to do, I put a Stitch With Me video up earlier in the week and I'm sorry I, t I confused some people about that because I, I, when I uploaded it, it didn't, up it didn't upload right to YouTube. It was real skinny. It wasn't like this. It was real skinny and it was hard to see. And I, you know, it was my first one I didn't know. I was stitching with white thread and you couldn't see what I was doing. So I'm going to um, work on that a little bit more. I bought a floor stand from a gal on D-Stash. Hi, Wendy, and it's wonderful, and um, I'm going to try to play with that, and I'm, I also bought a tripod, so I'm going to see if I can get the angle right. What I'd like to do is on the 12th, I want to do a Stitch With Me video and for the Halloween March chart, and um, I thought that I would do the Stitch With Me's for the Stitch Alongs so that we could stitch together on the Stitch Along. So I'm planning on doing that with Halloween March and with our Hawk Run Hollow Stitch Along that starts on the 1st of October. Uh, once the, I'll do the Halloween March until the, the Hawk Run Hollow starts. I'll do a stitch with me on October 1st as well to start my new Hawk Run Hollow. I'm stitching Village. And I will be starting that on a stitch with me as well. And then I'm going to alternate. So if you're participating in both of them, then... Um, you know, we can stitch together on each one of the stitch alongs. Of course, if you're not participating in either one of them, you can still stitch with me. So that's the plan. I'm, I'm going to start doing a stitch with me video. And if, if I can get things arranged right, it's, it's very hard to get the camera angle right. And um, it, it's, it's challenging. So, and if you have any topics that you'd like me to talk about or you have any questions um, if you'd like to post those as a comment so that I can uh, I can keep write those down and keep track of them for my st stitch with me videos that would be great because some you know sometimes you run out of things to talk about so my husband would say I that wouldn't happen with me but <laughs> I talk a lot but anyway so that's the plan I'm having to edit this video several times today I'm sorry. I forgot to mention that Rochelle is sending me a Halloween March chart, the Week Styleworks Onyx, and a couple Stitchy Pop needles to share with one of you. If you're interested in um, participating in that giveaway for a chance to win that those items, comment below. I would like to join the Stitch Along. I will be doing my next false tube on Sunday the 26th and that's when we will be drawing and I would like everybody to have their comment in by the 25th on Saturday to be eligible for that drawing. Also hot off the press brand new news that I can now mention, Teresa Kogut has given us permission for Laura at Flying Frog Stitchery to make custom needle minders for Halloween March. So, Laura will be working on those the next couple of days, and they will be in her shop shortly. So, if you would like a custom needle minder to match your stitch along, she's going to try to do all of the characters and then uh, the, in the entire chart um, on her needle minder. She's going to see what she can come up with. So, it's, um, it's going to be a lot of fun to see, to see those. And if you're interested in a custom needle minder, keep your eye out on her shop. It's Flying Frog Stitchery. I will link her below as well and you can get you a custom needle minder to go with your stitch along so that's exciting stuff too so she has also mentioned that she will be sending me one or two to give away as well so exciting i'm, I'm excited this is going to be a great stitch along 
So I, now I will return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Thanks for your patience. Halloween, um, Hawk Run Hollow Stitch Along, October 1st. And if you haven't gotten your needle minder from Laura at Flying Frog Stitchery, go over and do that. She has, you know, it's, it's a big chart. You're going to be with it for quite a while. So it would be nice to have. She's got um, needle minders for each of the 10 designs. So you can choose the design that you're stitching and she'll make you a custom needle minder for that. So that's that's just too cool, you know, to have a needle minder for something you're you're already you're stitching. So if you've not ordered that, go ahead and um, you can choose any one of the ten designs. I'll be doing village, and the um, all ten charts have been represented. So all ten charts will be worked on for the stitch along. So you'll get to see progress on all ten of them, which is awesome. <laughs> It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. The hashtag is hashtag HRHSAL2018. And I'm hosting that with uh, Amy of Amy Loves Toads and Jeannie Schwartz. So come join us. If you're on the fence about it still, come on. Do it with us. It's going to be fun. Now the Tis the Season stitch along starts September 1st. The Blackbird Designs um, Tis the Season. I won't be participating in that. Um, I've had a big kerfuffle about that and um, but I wanted to say thank you because several of you have messaged me you've emailed me and offered to share share your Victorian motto floss with me to do that stitch along and I, I appreciate that so much I really do you guys are so sweet that that's such a kind thing to do my order for the fosses for that stitch along was canceled by someone who works for Nancy and I wasn't able to get them. And so it's, it's a long story, but um, I kind of have a sour taste in my mouth for that. I will be stitching that bird at some point, but um, I'm going to have to get right now. I look at it and it just. So anyway, thank you very much to those of you who have offered. I really appreciate it. I have my Happy Planner spreads this week I'm not including because I had quite the planner haul lately. And I plan to do a separate video for that. I'm going to do an unboxing and then a haul, some haul that I got, and then I'll show my spreads on that video. I know several of you are planning with me. You you do you are planner babes and that's that's fun. And um, so I thought that maybe I would just do that as a separate video because I don't want to take up all the time showing you a planner haul when it's not a, it's a false tube. So if you are interested in the planner haul, it, you know, come watch my, my, my sep it'll be a separate video. So I just wanted to mention that. Okay. Question of the week last week. What's your least favorite household chore? Everything was represented there. <laughs> Everything. And I hear you. Oh my goodness. Laundry. Dishes. Mopping floors. Cleaning the oven. Cleaning the bathroom. Back breaking over that tub to clean that tub. It's all, yeah. It, I mean, if you've got some good music going and, and you're in the house by yourself and you can actually clean without somebody coming behind you in five minutes and messing it up again, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. And, and the feeling that you have when you sit down in the evening and you know your house is clean. And then you get up the next morning and just walk through the house and it's clean. It's, y'all know, <laughs> y'all know, it's like nirvana, right? So, um, thank you very much for answering that question. That was a lot of fun reading your comments. I really enjoyed it. Now, the new question I have for you this week is, name one thing that's on your fall bucket list. What do you want to do, one thing that you want to do within the next three months for, um, to celebrate fall? Now, I wanted to show you, I do have, um, I wanted this 
is one of the sticker books that I actually got. It's the seasonal. I had already had the seasonal book, but I used most of the stickers, so I went ahead and got another one. Um, this is a fall bucket list sheet of stickers. It's really, really neat. So some of them are go on a hayride, bake pumpkin bread, visit a pumpkin patch, roast s'mores, cook comfort food, go apple picking, donate to a family in need, that's a good one, get cozy, visit a haunted house, watch a scary movie, Black Friday shopping, and this one especially, give thanks. So what's on your fall bucket list? Mine is riding the four-wheeler in the mountains and seeing the leaves. I'm going to try to get up as high as I can and look out. So I'm excited about that. Okay, whips. I worked on a couple whips this week. I actually got a lot of stitching done when I was in North Carolina. Um, just chatting with my daughter. I sit there, sat there and stitched. And then when they played games, which I love, um, I, got, I got a chance to sit and stitch. But... Um, other than that, I really, you know, I wasn't feeling good, so, but I did get some done. I worked on Primrose Needleworks Ghosts Alphabet, which is one of my Mania Starks. I just love this design. Those owls on that tee just, you know, kill me. Here's my progress. I got the P, Q, and R done, and then I got the S done. For Stitch Mania, I had the O and the Cat. That's all I had. So, I got the S. It's very pretty even leaf. Purpley. Even weave. I'm trying to get used to it. Because I've, I've typically not been an even weave girl. So, you know, it's, it's different than linen. It's, it's a lot different than linen. And then I stitched on map. This is the one I took to North Carolina with me. And I, I had wanted to get this one done before the stitch along started. It's not happening. I've give, got to give that up completely. It's not going to happen. So... My new goal is by the end of the year, and that's doable. That's definitely doable. So I'm probably going to have two hawk runs going at one time when the stitch along starts. I am going to go ahead and start Village, but I will be working on this one as well. So I'll be post posting project, posting progress pictures on both on the stitch along page. So there we go. Instagram. And here's my progress. Let me show you where, where I was last time. Sorry about that. A little out of order there. So, I got the green done above the school. I got the picket fence outlined, St. Peter's outlined, and ABC outlined. All I have to do is go in and, and mindlessly put in the white for that and then I need to plug in that butterfly. So, good progress on that one. It's like, what's halfway up? So, I'm stitching this on Vintage Country Mocha 30, uh, 32 count. So vintage country mocha, Belfast. All right. I got some stitchy kindness I wanted to share with you. A lady named Jill lives in Canada. Hi, Jill. She messaged me, she emailed me, and she asked me if she, she said she had found a chart in a thrift store and um, gave a few cents for it, and she thought maybe I might like it, and she wanted to send it to me. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, 
and she sent me this sweet little card these smiling daisies on it just a real sweetheart Jill thank you so much and she she sent me a little a few goodies in, inside as well this trim look at this little isn't that pretty I just like the way it's displayed too <laughs> And then she sent me this. I love this. It's a little card. But it's got um, little pages in it that I can write and put stickers in and make notes. And then the middle opens up. Isn't that sweet? I'll use that for something special. Isn't that awesome? Love it, love it, love it. And interesting interesting she sent me some little cards with some information about Canada those are little pins Canada is only 151 years old I didn't realize it was that much younger than the United States she sent me a loony which is their one dollar coin and she sent me a toonie which is their two dollar coin and then she also said that they don't use pennies, that the cost of producing a penny is more than it's worth. So they round up or down to the nearest nickel, which I thought was interesting. My husband said that it's the same in this country, that it costs more to make a penny than what the penny is worth. I, I really never even thought about that. So save those pennies because they may at some point follow Canada's lead. But the chart that she sent me, that she wanted to share with me, Sarah Pope Sampler from Sheepish Antiques. Sarah is, oh my goodness, look at her. Look at her. That white house, those beautiful pink flowers in that border, She is just amazing. I The design that you see here has been faithfully revived from the original by Dawn Bradford. And it is from Let's see if I can see a year. Copyright. It's a big chart, so I'll have to make a big chart <laughs> so I'll have to make a working copy it's it's in pretty rough shape it's been written on and the uh, I don't see a year on it but um, it's been written on and it's kind of coming apart but it's definitely stitchable definitely stitchable so and you know with my Bent Creek you know that doesn't bother me when something's coming apart. It's just it just shows it's been well loved. That doesn't bother me at all. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Jill, for sharing her with me and all these little goodies. I really appreciate it. That just just made me smile. I, I I love it. I love it. It's very interesting as well. Now I had a barter with Carolyn and she sent me some goodies as well in our barter. And um she sent me this A to Z cross stitch samplers, which I, I, Vanessa Ann, I like this book. At some point, I'm going to design my own sampler. I'm going to do that. And I like collecting anything that has alphabets, anything that has motifs in it, because when I get ready to do that, I, it's going to be a collaboration and I'll probably chart some things myself. But um, my Marcor story sampler, I think it's in my Floss Tube episode three. Now, I charted a lot of that myself, so I want to do something um, actually with with a house in the middle, and I want to do some alphabets, and I want to actually put some motifs in um, and, and make my own samplers. So that that's, I, I'm collecting anything that has sampler, is sampler related, so that I can um, do that at some point. Now, this one is, oh my goodness. I am so tickled to get this book that it's missing its jacket, but it is from 
1984. That's a good year. I graduated in 84. It's Country Samplers by Zuelia Ann Hurt. Oxmoor House. Now, I'm, I'm going to sit down and read this book soon because I'm extremely interested in everything in here. This book is just fascinating to me. Look at these samplers. But what's great about this book is it has A to Z and each letter of the alphabet they have a subject like let me see here. K is kaleidoscope of stitches. L is landscapes. Um, M is myriad of country motifs. So, and it's got alphabets, numbers. It's got diagrams. It's got um, placement suggestions. It's got flowers, um, trees. It. It's got a glossary of stitches. It shows you how to... What I'm, go I'm going to do a flip through of this book. And I'm, I'm going to make a separate video and do a flip through after I read it. Because this is a fabulous book. If you're interested in samplers or making your own sampler. So I'm going to do a flip through. So, so watch out. Watch, watch out. Watch out. Watch out for that. <laughs> so... And she also sent me some charms, and she made these needle minders that she sent me. I love the leaves. Aren't those fabulous? So cute. That gnome. That gnome. And this one. Oh my goodness. That that one's my favorite. Live free. You can tell that's vintage. Love it. Love it. And <laughs> yeah, he's going on a special bag. So cute. And then our barter. Love him. At some point. So, thank you, Carolyn, for a wonderful goodie box. For our barter i really appreciate everything love everything everything thank you okay north carolina was telling you my daughter and i she was uh you know we did makeup girly things she has an ipsy subscription if you're not familiar with ipsy it's a it's a subscription and every month you get little sample size of makeups and skincare and things like that and they always send you a little makeup bag with your things in it. She had these. <laughs> and she said, Mom, do you have any use for these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Look. And y'all know. She just had them in her drawer. She said, I don't I don't need them. You can have them. Look at there. So I have accessory pouches for my project bags. <laughs> they will hold they will easily hold flosses. Scissors. Aren't they awesome? Neat. So I was happy to get those. And now, last week I had rehomed some charts. This Better Homes and Gardens Christmas magazine will go to Sandy Kilpatrick. I just did a random, I wrote all you down, then did a random number generator. So this one is going to Sandy Kilpatrick. 
old Taylor Place is going to Toe Creations, T-O-E Creations. And then Home Sweet Home will go to Lynn Buckhalter. Lynn Buck Buckhalter. So if you ladies would email me, my email is below, with your address. I will be happy to get these charts out to you. And thank you so much for the interest in rehoming those. Got to get rid of them. Now, I wanted to show you. I have this Mirabilia under the friendship tree. This is out of print. This is something you can't find it if you do. So this is, and I have no interest in stitching this. So what I would like to do is barter for it. If you're interested in bartering with me, I'm interested in fabric. And if you Google this and look at the prices, you will see. So I'm looking for something comparable to what it what it would what this chart would cost if you were to buy it. Maybe not. You know, just just looking for something fair. That's that's what I'm looking for. Holiday fabrics, especially, but. Um, just if you're interested just email me and let me know what what uh, what what you have and what you offer and we can talk the chart is used and it's been written on a little bit let me let me tell you this disclaimer it's been written on a little bit and it is it is got um, it does have a few little places in it see but it's very stitchable so take keep that in in mind too it's not a brand new chart so it's not worth as much as they are new if you were to find one. So and, um, just hit me up if you're interested in that. Okay. Favorite things this week. I am so into these raisins. I used to eat these when I was a little girl. And I saw them at the store the other day. And I thought, you know, <laughs> I want some raisins. So I have been really enjoying these. Um, also, Walmart has the limited edition tarts out for August, for August, fall, autumn. This one's Stormy Autumn Night. This one's Rustic Country Home. These are limited edition for fall. Fall into autumn. And this one is Cinnamon Apple Dumpling. Y'all, I can't tell you. I've been burning a couple of these. I burnt, I burned one yesterday. My husband said that he could smell it before he even opened the door. It was permeating outside, out on the back porch. That's how strong these are. They are fabulous. Walmart has them. They're two dollars. But oh my gosh, all these are just oh, fall, fall. It's it's just. Love it, love it, love it. Now, um, quick PSA. Kirkland's has Ray Dunn now. If, if you're a Ray Dunn fan, Kirkland's has Ray Dunn. So, just wanted to let y'all know that in case you, wanted, you were interested. My daughter has a new kitten. I, to, I told you. Her name is Isla. And this is a picture of her. Sweetheart. She also has a ferret named Renly. And Renly and Isla play together very, very well. She can't let them play very long because they get a little aggressive with each other. But they do play together very well. It's, it's amazing. Ferrets are very like cats. They, they use a litter pan and they play with toys just like a cat does. But anyway, what I was going to tell you is I have a, a little bit of a video of the two of them playing together. And Renly, he likes to steal things. He's a ferret. He ferrets things away. He likes to steal shoes. He likes to steal her cat toys. He likes to steal things and put them under the couch. His favorite thing to steal is the remote. 
Now in this video, he wants that remote off that table. He wants that remote so bad, and he works so hard to get that remote off that table. And Isla is having none of it. So the video is a couple minutes long. So if you want to watch that, it's going to be at the very end. Hilarious. It's, it's so cute. And also, I've got some pictures of my trip for the week that I put into a slideshow. Now, I'm, um, the, I'm going to show you some new bags, but I thought if, you weren't, if you're not interested in the bags, then you can just kind of scroll through and watch the, watch the video at the end. So, I do have some new bags, but first, thank you to Ray. Thank you, Missy W. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Linda M. And thank you, Becky. I appreciate all of you. And I uh, have made a few new bags this week. The first one I have is this, this one. Mickey Mouse. And I have, I'll show you the bags first. This one. And I have this one. That one has a little candy charm on it. And then y'all. Can you stand it? So, um, candy, Halloween, fall, and Mickey. So, if you're interested, as usual, my bags are $25, and that includes the beaded zipper finder. They're a finder, they're not a pull. So, and a uh, and shipping in the United States, USA only, please. I ha I can't. It has to be USA only. And email me below, and the first one to email claims the bag because I don't. Um, I will be making some more like these, but not exactly like these. So, um, but if you if you're interested in a bag, email me and with your PayPal information, and I will send you a PayPal invoice, and then I'll get your bag right out to you. So they're $25, and that is shipped in the United States and includes the beaded zipper finder. So that's my new bags. So that's all I have for you. Uh, like I said, I'm going to tack on the, the little uh, video I have of Renly and Isla playing on the end. And remember our stitch alongs remember um oh and answer the question what's on your fall bucket list and um and until next week happy stitching and i will see you soon with my planner video and um potentially a stitch with me and then i do have i will have the flip through of that book so until i see you again happy stitching and have a wonderful week Bye bye